Hello, fishy folks. Just got home from work. Made a meatloaf, threw it in the oven, came down to the fish room, and I see water all over the floor. I'm like, what the heck? I thought I fixed this leak. And then I look over here and I see there's a ton of water. And then I look over here and I see this tank is just about empty. And then I look down to the bottom of the tank and you can see it's cracked. I don't know what the hell happened. I'm gonna fix this and I'll be back. Well, it's cracked for sure. All I did was I had this five and a half gallon on my workbench, on a spare workbench on the table in the middle of the fish room. I basically just poured all the fish in there with the same water for now. And I'm going to figure out how to get the bulkhead out if I even can, which even if I break the glass, which I don't want to do because that will leave glass shards everywhere. This is glued in, so I think I'm pretty much SOL. So, I don't know why it cracked on the bottom like that. I would imagine that's something to do with being level, which kind of worries me now about all the tanks on that stand. Although, I do think this morning I was messing with this pipe. However, why would it crack on the bottom and not there? So now I gotta figure out, am I gonna drill another tank right now? I'm gonna leave them in this five and a half gallon. I'm gonna put them back in the 20 gallon long where they came from. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I'll let you know what I come up with. All right, guys, got the hole drilled, got the tank in place, put some PVC pipe in, and you can see it's leaking from here, which is probably just this, although I thought I tightened that pretty tight. I think I did, so I don't know why it's leaking. So I'm going to have to get some pliers and figure it out. I'll be back. All right. Nothing tightening with pliers stops. So I grab my little mini water pump pliers, as Rich and Rich's fishes will call them, and uh, gave it, I don't know, a 30 second of a turn. I mean, I maybe went from here to here. It's all tight no leaking now I don't know why I cracked I really don't so let's talk about the PVC I put a a regular elbow and then a street yeah, elbow and Lucas is down here say hi Lucas hi Dad. what I'm gonna climb something okay climb. you can play he loves coming down here and playing. All right, gotta go eat dinner. So I think it's good. I do have to remember to come back down here tonight and move all these fishes back. Say bye, Lucas. Bye. Ugh. It's not good when you come down to the fish room after having a crack tank and you come down the next morning and you see water on the floor. So, based on this puddle pattern, yeah, I know, the floor's a mess, deal with it. Based on this puddle pattern, I thought the water was coming from my storage or the, my fill hose. However, when I turned the auto water change system on to trace the water leak, I noticed this. It actually wasn't, I fixed it, and then I decided I should show you what I found. But this was lying here instead of in its hole. So my ram didn't get a water change today. Oh well, he'll deal, he'll, he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so yet another water problem. However, uh, when I came down here, um, the marble angels, not so those parents, but these guys, as you can see, there's no slate in the tank. I took it out, has spawned. I'm gonna show you what I did with them in a second. I mean, look how gorgeous these two silvers are. He's been doing that all morning. I mean, I've only been down here for like 15 minutes, but um, I don't know what he's doing actually. 
and nothing out of these guys yet. And I really think these two are two males. Um, but we'll see. see. See if I get anything out of these guys. Uh, I would like a pair of blacks. Let's look at the angels, the, uh, the juvies that are looking spectacular. And then of course, the silvers up here that are looking phenomenal. Now, here's what I did over here. Uh, we dosed the methylene blue at the proper dosage, although it does look pretty dark. But I've, the batches that have survived for me, I've dosed at half strength. Um, and then as soon as I see wigglers, I do a big water change and try to get the methylene blue out. <coughs> That's just what my local guy told me to do and that's what seemed to work for the last batch that, that mostly survived so anyway I turned this tank on its side so I could fit another one as well as see the back one I went to try to turn that one but with uh, frying it as well as it's full with water and the glass is so thin I decided to F with it while it had water in it so there are six surviving fry in here which is not a very good survival rate considering I had like a gazillion or was it a gajillion? I had a ton of fry and I lost them somehow. And I don't know why, because the water, water quality was great. I mean, you know, when you get a, almost a 50% water change a day. So, yeah. Anywho, that's what's going on so far. Uh, little quick update, update with the fry. They're growing nice, you can see them. You can actually see them now without, sorry about the glare, yeah. Um, now let's talk about this sick, what was the sick, um, platy. So that male swimming up at the top, there's only one male in the tank. He was headstanding. I thought he was a goner. I pretty much forgot to remove him from the tank and treat. And when I come down the next day, he was fine. Uh, Jason from Fresh Tropics suggests he is sick and I should, he's got internal parasites and I should treat. <clears throat> and I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to treat anyway just to be on the safe side based on my experience. Now, these guys came from my local fish store. They were turned in um, from a customer and... I treat them with my normal quarantine procedure, which typically works. Um, so yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the auto water change system, flip it to this tank. Now this tank will not get any water changes, and I will treat with a tiny bit of Lamisol. I forget the dosage, but it's really small. Lavamisol, not lam la Lavasol, whatever I said is nothing. I just made that word up. So, we'll go with Lavamisol, because that's the stuff. You can see there's two little fry, three little fry. Three, two. Wow, the... What the heck? So, I think there's only two, and it's just reflections that are making it look like more. I don't know, it's early, I haven't had coffee yet. Yeah, we're gonna shoot with Lavamisol. Uh, that's it for the update for now. Solo's mom on the mend. You can see her dorsals are still all jacked up, but there's no red. Looks like she ate, so that's good. Um, that guy looks like there could be a problem. Yeah, he's all bloated. Having a hard time swimming. Mm. I'll have to check that out. All right, fellas, ladies, gents, kids of all ages. <clears throat> Let's talk about this tank real quick, if you don't mind. So Corey's wife's tank, Dorkula, you know, he had that water wisteria. Was it water sprite or water wisteria? I forget. Anyway, like as a jungle, and that's what I got going on down here. When he said he wishes had, he had live bears for that tank, I was like, I do! Look, you can't see the other side. And I've had a ton of fry out of this tank. It's a 30 uh, breeder. So it's the same footprint as a 40, it's just shorter. 
it's only 12 inches tall instead of 18 I think um, and I got it cheap and it's really my growing for profit tank I I bring water wisteria almost every week to my local fish store um, but I also use it in other tanks like there are some shreds up there just for nitrite nitrates uh, you know it's in a lot of my tanks just basically to take care of nitrates and give uh, give the fish something to hide out in and if there's fries something to eat on you know like the blue diamond tank yeah there's moss in there there's a spawning map mop and uh, but that stuff too all right angels angels all right guys let me go through with lavamasol before i forget and here's some more angels <laughs> 